People will often ask, what is the difference between a mil spec stock and a commercial stock? I get that question all the time. And I thought I'd finally explain the difference because it's not exactly what people think it is. It is, it is mostly the diameter. That, that's most of it, but why? The big question is, why is the diameter different? A lot of people think that a commercial spec stock is stronger because the diameter is bigger. So if the diameter is bigger, it's bigger, it's stronger. That's not the case. That's not, they're actually weaker. And there's a reason for that. And this is a commercial spec buffer tube. Actually, technically it's a receiver extension. It's not a buffer tube, but we all call them buffer tubes. Kind of like people call them clips and mags and clipazines. This is a mil spec receiver extension. And this one actually happens to be a Colt four position. So I've got a bunch of different receiver extensions here. I'm gonna talk about what they are and what makes them different. And what are you paying for? What do you get? So this is a commercial spec stock. It's slanted on the back. That's usually a dead giveaway. It is a six position. The military did not use six position stocks. This is a genuine Colt four position. Kind of see in there, there's four positions, which is closed and three extended positions. Somebody got the idea and said, well, if we've got all that extra room in there, why not just put some more holes? And it's a valid point. So what makes a commercial receiver extension commercial and what makes a mil spec one mil spec? Everybody thinks that it's just the diameter and that is true as to what will fit on it. These are both mil spec stocks. This is a factory Colt stock. This is a Magpul. And if you have a gun that came with a commercial spec stock on it, it has a commercial spec buffer tube and you will not be able to put a mil spec stock on it. And you can see it doesn't fit. Now, sometimes on a Magpul, because they're a little loose, you can squeeze them on there and make them fit and you might be able to force it all the way on. It also depends on the commercial receiver extension in question. But a factory Colt would not even think about going on there. So we know the diameter is different. We know that is something different between mil spec and commercial. And if you look at a chart, that's pretty much all it's gonna tell you. But why are they different? Well, it has to do with cost of manufacturing and strength. The military requests that their receiver extensions are not machined with cutting. They're done with rolled dies. They actually have this section rolled in between two dies and that creates the threads. That is why on an actual mil spec receiver extension, the threads actually grow to be larger than the tube. And I don't have a mic handy, but trust me, it's, it's bigger. And so if you start out with a small diameter and you roll threads, the threads are gonna grow. So your mil spec stock is one size. When you have a commercial spec stock, they cut the threads. So this is an extrusion it's the fastest, cheapest way to make one of these parts. They extrude it in the general shape. They mill out this section here, and then they cut the threads. And if you look real close, you can see that the diameter stays the same between the threads and the tube. And the secret is to do threads this way costs more money and more time, but it's stronger. When you cut threads, you're removing material. You're causing micro fractures. Um, you're creating weak spots in the material. This does not remove material. It simply changes the shape and size of it. So it's still very, very strong. And that's why the military for the mil spec makes you do it that way. Otherwise, they won't buy it. Now this one is mil spec diameter. So it will fit a mil spec stock and the threads are a little bit bigger. But it's interesting. This doesn't appear to be the best quality because if you look inside, and I don't know if I can show that. Let's see if I can get a zoomed in picture on that. A 
when they milled that, you can actually see some of the holes went all the way through. But it's not supposed to be like that. Those holes don't help it cool. It's not ventilation. Maybe they spot drilled and the spot drills went too deep and an end mill came in and did the clearances. On a quality receiver extension, you're not gonna see things like that. It's gonna be clean, it's gonna be done nice. We don't generally get a lot of Colt ones except takeoffs. Luthay R makes nice ones. They don't retail very well. Kinda gotta poke a hole in them to be able to hang them from the hook. But I like Luthay R because their stuff is good quality. And this is right out of the package and it is six position, they mark it with an L. So they, they mark their stuff because they are proud of it because it's done correctly. The machining is clean. There's no extra holes drilled all the way through like in this one. Are they rolled threads or are they cut threads? I don't know, you'd have to ask Luthay R how they do them. But they always fit very, very well. So I like using these and I like keeping them in stock. We do stock other stuff as well. And on Gun Blitz, you can buy all kinds of different brands in mill spec and commercial spec. But in a nutshell, that is the difference between all these different tubes. It all comes down to rolled threads versus cut threads, and that's the secret.